Danier has been working for almost two months to clean and repair this house in Bishkek, where he lives with more than 20 other disabled people. Technically, they're squatters, but they're not worried that the original owner will return. Before they arrived, the home belonged to Kyrgyz president Kermenbek Bakiev, who was ousted in a violent uprising this April. The house was set on fire by rioters during the April unrest. The new residents, members of a community group called Young Disabled People, spent months trying to turn it into a home. While the restoration work continues, the residents make a little money by baking bread in the former garage and selling it. They distribute it using a modified electric vehicle and cook their own food over wood stripped from the former bathhouse. And they help take care of one another. But the residents don't know yet whether their hard work will pay off. The Young Disabled People Group has applied to local officials to legally own the house. But no decision is expected until all the investigations into the April uprising and Bakiev's ouster are finished. Still, most think that their status as disabled people will protect them from sudden eviction. And many have become attached to their new home. <laughs> If the residents succeed in acquiring the house, there'll be one group to make it through Kyrgyzstan's recent upheaval with a little bit more stability in their lives.